There are two ways to get muzzle velocity, one being measured directly and the other one to back it out from truing. Um, and what if they don't agree or why would you have to true if you have one measured? Um, there's a couple reasons you would still want to true your muzzle velocity even if you measured with a chronograph. One reason is because chronographs, they give you a number and it's easy to have confidence in that number, but a lot of the times there are inaccuracies in chronograph measurements. Um, I've used a lot of different chronographs and some of them are more accurate than others. Some of them are accurate sometimes, but can be highly sensitive to setup. And so if you have a number from a chronograph and you true your muzzle velocity and that suggests a different velocity, um, I think you have to go with the velocity that was trued because that's where your bullet's actually hitting. And there may be more errors other than muzzle velocity measurement. You could have launch dynamics, you could have other errors in your ballistic solver, depending if you're using the wrong BC. And whenever you true it, you may not be getting the actual muzzle velocity, but you'll get, it, you'll get a muzzle velocity that works to produce an accurate trajectory prediction.